Koenigsegg has built possibly the most complex gearbox ever. It has nine speeds, seven clutches, it's automatic and manual, plus it has variable ratios. So you could drive to the track in road ratio gearbox and then switch to race ratios to go faster on the track. In standard Koenigsegg fashion, they've given it a ridiculous name. It's called the light speed transmission with engage shifter system. The original LST gearbox was built for the Yesco and it was Koenigsegg's first go at building its own gearbox. And it just had to be a crazy one. This gearbox is mental, and in a very good way. Let me explain. It's kind of like a DCT gearbox, and those are pretty common. They're essentially robotized manuals that utilize two clutches rather than one. So rather than one input shaft dealing with all the gears, there are two. So one clutch selects the even gears, and the other one does the odd gears. That means that the gearbox always has a gear prepared when it's time to shift up or down. So if you're on the throttle, it'll pre-select the next gear up in the gearbox, and if you're not, it'll select the ratio below. Before we get into how mad this gearbox is, let me quickly tell you about our sponsor for today's video, Neva. Neva isn't a VPN, it's an ad-free private web browser. So it's focused on the user and not advertisers. Because if you search with Google, 40% of the results will come from ads, whereas with Neva, it's 100% ad-free. And that means they don't need to flood you with unnecessary search results. So let's say you always buy your car cleaning products from Autoglim. So you can tell Neva that, and then the next time you search for car cleaning products, you only get relevant results. But what I personally like best is that it's heavily focused on protecting your privacy. It'll find any trackers on websites and block them for you. And then on top of that with Neva, you get access to Bitdefender VPN and LastPass, a password manager. And they're able to show you exactly what you want to see because the whole thing is funded by subscriptions. And so Neva has said anyone who clicks on the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Neva. Now that will get you full access to all of the their premium benefits, including the Bitdefender VPN and LastPass password manager. So thanks to Neva for sponsoring this video. I'll hand you back to Will to talk about this gearbox. Unlike a DCT, Koenigsegg's LST doesn't use any selector forks or synchronizers to pick a gear. Instead, each pair of gears gets its own clutch, and there are three shafts rather than two. There's one input shaft from the engine that can send power to one of the three gears on a second shaft. Then that one is able to pick between another three gears to send power to. With three different gears per shaft, that means that there are nine different ratios. Although the gear changes are lightning fast, it's not necessarily the shift time that makes this gearbox so impressive. It's how intelligently it can select a gear. In a DCT, if you're cruising along in sixth gear, but third gear would be faster to accelerate, the gearbox tries to predict which gear you might need next. If it gets it wrong, you lose out on shift time because it can only prepare one other gear at a time. The LST's multi-clutch design means it's able to select that gear almost instantly. There's no point in having nearly 1400 horsepower, only to be waiting for the gearbox to change before accelerating. Of course, Koenigsegg gave this technology its own name. They called it U-Pod or ultimate power on demand. The whole thing is operated by pulling the paddle shifter one notch for a single gear change or pulling it all the way back to select the best gear. Did I also mention that despite having a million clutches, it's still smaller than the old seven speed dual clutch gearbox in the Koenigsegg Agera. Its tiny packaging is partly to do with the fact that it doesn't use a traditional flywheel. It's not exactly new for Koenigsegg either. They also made a tiny electric motor that makes 300 brake horsepower. And we did a video on that, which you can also watch. I like the Koenigsegg are constantly changing things on cars that we thought could never be replaced. Valves? Don't need those. Multiple gears? Pfft, we might as well have one. Engines with flywheels? That's far too normal. And that's not the end, because it gets crazier and even more complex than that. When things seem too complicated, you can rely on Koenigsegg to confuse things even further. So, this limited run CC850 was revealed just recently at Monterey Car Week. Over a thousand brake horsepower and a top speed well in excess of 200 mile an hour. That's all standard procedure for a Koenigsegg. However, rather than being built for the track or top speed records, this one has been designed to be a proper a driver's car. So if you take a peek inside, you'll see a third pedal and a gated shifter. That ESS system I mentioned earlier, the engage shifter system, means that you can change from the nine speed semi-auto mode to a gated six speed manual. The CC850 is a 20 year celebration of Koenigsegg's CC8S, which had a proper manual gearbox. Yep, so it's an automated multi-clutch gearbox paired with a H pattern shifter. Koenigsegg doing Koenigsegg things. So again, how the hell does it all work? Switching to the manual mode gives you six forward gears, a clutch pedal, and two different ratios, one for the road and one for the track. Koenigsegg reckons it's the first manual gearbox that can switch ratios depending on the situation. Now, they haven't said anything about this, but I would presume that the track ratios are a little higher, because if you've driven a road car on track, you'll know that you basically never go below third gear. 
Whereas if you own this car and drive it on the roads of Knightsbridge, you'll need those lower ratios. Despite the shifter being a proper exposed manual linkage, it isn't actually physically linked to the gearbox at all. It's entirely shift by wire. The clutch pedal and shifter use hydraulic force feedback to give it a more realistic and mechanical feel. Koenigsegg says that it works exactly like a manual. So yes, you are able to stall and it will react badly if you have terrible clutch control, which is good for realism, but bad for your ego. Given that, can we really call it a manual gearbox? I guess you do shift manually, but those purists out there might not accept this as a proper manual gearbox. Christian von Koenigsegg himself has claimed that it's one of the most engaging manual gearboxes ever. I guess he would say that about his own creation, but he is also the owner of a Mark I MX-5, so he should know a thing or two about a good gearbox. Unfortunately, I don't think either you or I will ever get the chance to give it a go, because they're only making 50 of the CC850, it'll cost a few million dollars, and they're probably already sold out. If you enjoyed this video, then you should check out this other video on Koenigsegg's tiny 300 horsepower electric motor. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.